Good morning everyone. So, it's just gone 7.30 and today's plan is Open Panorama Bag Stage 6. So, I'm just leaving Amden, um, where I finished off the last stage and I'm heading down to Siebenen today. So, today's route is predominantly flat with 700 meters of descent and 250 meters give or take of ascent so yeah it's probably downhill flat with a little bit of uphill here and there so uh, yeah makes a little bit of a change for the past couple of days uh, the past couple of stages anyway so uh, yeah weather is absolutely fantastic minimal cloud cover so yeah hopefully get some great uh, alpine panorama so uh, yeah, without much further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the route that I'm now walking is the historical route between um, Wiesen or Wiesen. Okay, so as you've just read on the sign there, I'm now walking the historical route between Wiesen and Omden. So, uh, yeah. Very similar to um, another one of these that I've walked in the past. So, yeah, as I am, one thing to note is that as I'm around Valenzi, and as you've seen from my Valenzi hike, I did find an old Roman uh, fortification. So, I'm not sure if those, they, I'm not sure, this is just me thinking out loud now. I'm not sure if they're uh, linked in any way, shape, or form, but. Uh, yeah, it would be interesting if they are. So, uh, yeah. One thing I will say about these steps is that I am very happy I'm walking down and not up. So, yeah, I am very, very happy for that. So after the last ooh, few etapas, where it's been predominantly uphill. So yeah, I mean, look at these. Look at all of that. And the thing is, these aren't even. Uh, evenly spaced so sometimes you'll have really big steps really small ones and yeah so yeah taking it nice and easy nice and steady 
and uh, yeah, I'm in no I'm in no rush today. So yeah. Okay, so I absolutely do not like this bit. Reason being, I'm in a tunnel, very, very fast traffic, but an amazing view, funnily enough. So, yeah, I mean, there is a pavement here, I have to be here, so uh, yeah. Just gonna quickly scurry along this bit and get back to the footpath proper. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it looks a lot worse than it actually is, especially if, if you come at a low traffic time. So, yeah, because this is the main trunk road from Wiesen to Amden. So, yeah, okay, so that stressful road was successfully navigated. Luckily there weren't too many cars passing as I was going past, as I was walking through it, so uh, yeah. I'm just happy that a bus didn't turn up or anything, because uh, yeah. Still a little bit nerve wracking when you know you're on maybe 75 centimetres worth of pavement and uh, yeah. yeah. So, I'm happy. then so real quick I am just on the outskirts of Wiesen I'm currently in the flea area of Wiesen um, yeah so that means that the camera's been derigged uh, so I'm not carrying around giant tri uh, carrying around the tripod and so on um, one thing to note about this hike that um, I forgot to mention is that I will be I will be passing through several villages so yeah 
And now that I've gotten to Wiesen, what that means is that the uh, descent is finished. Well, the major descent is finished. So um, yeah, it's gonna be relatively easy walking from here on in. So very well prepared paths, gravel tracks, and uh, yeah, predominantly flat. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay then, so that all the way up there is uh, Umden. So you can see, you can not see the tunnel. Somewhere over there, where I walked earlier. And here I am at the start of the Lint Canal. And it was just around this headland, just here, where I launched my pack raft for um, my Lint Canal tour. So today's Monday the 20th, uh, yesterday's video was actually the Linked Canal tour. So um, yeah, that was last week's video. Oh no, not last week's video, but uh, the video that came out yesterday was that. So kind of interesting to be in the same area with a video that was released less, less than 24 hours ago. So yeah, walking along here was mad deja vu. So uh, yeah. Onwards. Alrighty, so I'm following the Lint Canal from Wiesen to Siegelbrücke and on that basis, seeing as I've already done it with the pack raft in uh, the Lint Canal tour, um, I don't really think it would be interesting for me to really repeat myself um, on that tour, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's it really, so that's why there'll be a change of scenery when I next start filming. Okay, so those mountains way off in the distance there on the other side is the start of um, Lintal. So that's where um, Limeren and Mütze are, which are the sources of the Lint. So, yeah. Alrighty then, so what's been going on since I last checked in? Well, Successfully made it to uh, Ziegelbrücke um, and then crossing the Lint Canal led me onto my fifth Cantonal border crossing. So, uh, yeah, so that I'm now in Canton Claros for the foreseeable, uh, for the foreseeable future. So, um, yeah, and I've just left the little village of Niederurnen continuing on in the direction of Siebenen. Now behind me is a power station, normally, uh, which is the normal route, but unfortunately they've had to close it for uh, renovation, so I'm taking a little bit of a detour. So. I've left sort of the open fields and I'm now at the foothills of the uh, Glarner Alpe. So, yeah. Um, something very, uh, just something to note. Um, the section that I've been walking along here is sort of all the farmland. I think I mentioned this in the Lint Canal video, but uh, I'll just mention it again. This all used to be, um, used to be sort of marshland. And then when they redirected the Lint, to flow into Valensee and then out of Valensee to Zuri Obersee. Um, that basically drained all the land and they're now using it for livestock and arable farming. So, yeah. And being 
farmland is incredibly flat and this is just my personal opinion incredibly boring so this is definitely one of my least favorite hikes that i've done recently it's yeah i mean don't get me wrong like the scenery is stunning it's got pros to it but in terms of grade it's just completely like downhill and then flat i enjoyed the downhill bit but the flat nah so um with that i'm uh i hate to say it, but i'm gonna call it quits on this and uh, this is more as an etapa it's one of the longest uh, 28 kilometers and yeah i do i, I know I'm just trying to justify it, but this is um, why is because I've been hiking more or less six days in a row, uh, not in a row, but I've done three days on, two days off, three days on. And I do have work tomorrow. And then later on this week, I've got some training, which requires an overnighter. So I want to be fresh and ready for that. So yeah. I think, uh, yeah, the right call is being made now, so, yeah. But it's been fun, do not get me wrong. This at the beginning of it anyway has been very fun and very interesting, but uh, the rest of it is just not really my cup of tea, really. So, yeah. Alrighty, so I'm at the bus stop. And you know me, it's not often that I call a hike quits, but this one is just, this atop uh, stage is more of a crossover stage, so the next one I'll be starting from Siebenen and heading up over to um, Einsiedeln. So it's going to be a little bit more up and down and a little bit more woodland and not so much open field and main roads and so on and so forth. So yeah, I look forward to that one. Not quite sure when I'm going to get around to doing it because I do have a busy couple of weeks ahead of me, but uh, yeah, we'll see and... Uh, yeah see how it goes once again thank you for watching my videos thank you for supporting the channel and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one